Welcome to Spiritual Sunrise, a space where we come together to seek God's presence, comfort, and protection. Today, we'll be praying through the powerful promises of Psalm 91 and 23, two of the most comforting passages in the Bible that speak of God's unfailing love and divine protection over our lives. I encourage you to stay with us until the end of this prayer, as we believe that the blessings and peace of these psalms will flow into your life. Before we begin, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. This simple action helps us to reach more people who need these prayers in their lives. Also, don't forget to write the names of your loved ones in the comments below so that they too can be covered in this prayer. Let's invite God's protection and blessings over our families, our homes, and our hearts today. Now, let's step into the shelter of the Most High and trust in the promises of His Word. Today, as we come together to reflect on the promises of Psalms 91 and 23, let's open our hearts and minds to the powerful truths that God's Word reveals about our lives, especially in areas like our emotional well-being, relationships, and financial stability. These Psalms aren't just ancient songs, they are living words that speak directly into our situations, offering guidance, protection, and comfort. Psalm 91, often called the Psalm of Protection, speaks of God as our refuge and fortress, a place where we can find safety no matter what storms we face in life. Whether it's the unseen threats that creep into our minds, fears about our future, or worries about our finances, this Psalm reminds us that God's presence is like a shield around us. It tells us that when we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we are under His wings safe, secure, and shielded from harm. In our emotional and sentimental life, this means that no heartbreak, loneliness, or anxiety is beyond God's ability to heal and protect. It's a reminder that when our hearts feel fragile, He is strong for us. He is our shelter in times of distress, and He covers us with His feathers, reminding us that we are never alone. Psalm 23, known as the Shepherd's Psalm, is equally powerful, painting a beautiful picture of God as a loving shepherd who cares for every need. This psalm reassures us that no matter where we are in life, whether we are walking through green pastures or the darkest valleys, God is with us. He leads us beside still waters, bringing peace to our troubled minds and restoring our souls. In our sentimental lives, this psalm speaks of a deep, nurturing relationship with God where He fills the emptiness we sometimes feel. When we go through the valleys of life, those dark moments where we feel lost, discouraged, or overwhelmed by our emotions, Psalm 23 reminds us that God walks beside us, his rod and staff are there to guide and comfort, giving us the strength to keep moving forward. These promises aren't just limited to our spiritual or emotional lives, they extend into our financial well-being as well. Both Psalms 91 and 23 assure us that God is deeply involved in every aspect of our lives, including our provision. Psalm 23 declares, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. This is a promise that God will provide for our needs not just in material things, but also in giving us peace, wisdom, and contentment. It's an invitation to trust that God will guide us to opportunities, open doors that seem closed, and bless the work of our hands. When financial struggles arise, whether it's job insecurity, unexpected expenses, or debt, these Psalms remind us that God is our provider. He is the one who prepares a table before us, even in the presence of challenges and adversities showing that His blessings can flow even in the most difficult circumstances. Psalm 91 reinforces this by highlighting God's protection over our homes and finances. It says, No harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. This is a powerful declaration over our households and everything we own. God's protection means that He is watching over our finances, keeping us from making impulsive decisions or falling into traps that could lead to loss. His angels are commanded to guard us in all our ways, including our financial decisions, guiding us towards paths of wisdom and prosperity. In our sentimental and financial lives, the lessons from these Psalms are clear God is with us in every season. When we trust Him, we are assured of His guidance, protection, and provision. If you are struggling emotionally, feeling weighed down by financial burdens, or simply needing a reminder of God's presence, let these Psalms be your prayer. Declare them over your life daily. Speak them over your relationships, your bank accounts, and your heart. They are not just words, they are God's promises that He is your shepherd, your protector, and your provider. Today, let's invite the power of these scriptures to work in every area of our lives. Let's believe that God will bring healing where there is hurt, 
provision where there is lack, and peace where there is anxiety. His word is a light in our darkest moments and a reminder that we are never left to navigate life alone. So hold on to these promises, trust in his unfailing love, and watch as he turns every challenge into a testimony of his grace and goodness. Today, as we come together to reflect on the promises of Psalms 91 and 23, let's open our hearts and minds to the powerful truths that God's word reveals about our lives, especially in areas like our emotional well-being, relationships, and financial stability. These psalms aren't just ancient songs, they are living words that speak directly into our situations, offering guidance, protection, and comfort. Psalm 91, often called the Psalm of Protection, speaks of God as our refuge and fortress, a place where we can find safety no matter what storms we face in life. Whether it's the unseen threats that creep into our minds, fears about our future, or worries about our finances, this psalm reminds us that God's presence is like a shield around us. It tells us that when we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we are under His wings safe, secure, and shielded from harm. In our emotional and sentimental life, this means that no heartbreak, loneliness, or anxiety is beyond God's ability to heal and protect. It's a reminder that when our hearts feel fragile, He is strong for us. He is our shelter in times of distress, and He covers us with His feathers, reminding us that we are never alone. Psalm 23 known as the Shepherd's Psalm, is equally powerful, painting a beautiful picture of God as a loving shepherd who cares for every need. This psalm reassures us that no matter where we are in life, whether we are walking through green pastures or the darkest valleys, God is with us. He leads us beside still waters, bringing peace to our troubled minds and restoring our souls. In our sentimental lives, this psalm speaks of a deep, nurturing relationship with God where He fills the emptiness we sometimes feel. When we go through the valleys of life, those dark moments where we feel lost, discouraged, or overwhelmed by our emotions, Psalm 23 reminds us that God walks beside us. His rod and staff are there to guide and comfort, giving us the strength to keep moving forward. These promises aren't just limited to our spiritual or emotional lives, they extend into our financial well-being as well. Both Psalms 91 and 23 assure us that God is deeply involved in every aspect of our lives, including our provision. Psalm 23 declares, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want this as a promise that God will provide for our needs, not just in material things, but also in giving us peace, wisdom, and contentment. It's an invitation to trust that God will guide us to opportunities, open doors that seem closed, and bless the work of our hands. When financial struggles arise, whether it's job insecurity, unexpected expenses, or debt, these psalms remind us that God is our provider. He is the one who prepares a table before us, even in the presence of challenges and adversities, showing that His blessings can flow even in the most difficult circumstances. Psalm 91 reinforces this by highlighting God's protection over our homes and finances. It says, No harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. This is a powerful declaration over our households and everything we own. God's protection means that He is watching over our finances, keeping us from making impulsive decisions or falling into traps that could lead to loss. His angels are commanded to guard us in all our ways, including our financial decisions, guiding us towards paths of wisdom and prosperity. In our sentimental and financial lives, the lessons from these psalms are clear God is with us in every season. When we trust Him, we are assured of His guidance, protection, and provision. If you are struggling emotionally, feeling weighed down by financial burdens, or simply needing a reminder of God's presence, let these psalms be your prayer. Declare them over your life daily. Speak them over your relationships, your bank accounts, and your heart. They are not just words, they are God's promises that He is your shepherd, your protector, and your provider. Today, let's invite the power of these scriptures to work in every area of our lives. Let's believe that God will bring healing where there is hurt, provision where there is lack, and peace where there is anxiety. His word is a light in our darkest moments and a reminder that we are never left to navigate life alone. So, hold on to these promises, trust in his unfailing love, and watch as he turns every challenge into a testimony of his grace and goodness. As we continue to immerse ourselves in the promises of Psalms 91 and 23, let's delve even deeper into how these scriptures can transform our sentimental and financial lives, bringing clarity, peace, and a renewed sense of purpose. In a world that often feels chaotic, these psalms are like anchors that keep us grounded, 
reminding us of God's unwavering commitment to his children. In our sentimental lives, the world often tells us that we need to rely on our own strength, chase after fleeting happiness, or fill the voids in our hearts with temporary pleasures. But Psalm 23 teaches us a different approach it invites us to rest in God's presence, knowing that he is our shepherd who leads us into places of peace and restoration. When we feel overwhelmed by emotions, whether it's the sting of rejection, the weight of loneliness, or the pain of a broken relationship, we can turn to God who promises to restore our souls. He doesn't just patch up our wounds, he heals them completely. He prepares a table before us, even in the presence of our enemies, those thoughts, fears, and insecurities that try to steal our joy. His anointing overflows in our lives, reminding us that we are deeply loved and valued beyond measure. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of faith, knowing that you are our refuge, our strength, and our ever-present help in times of need. As we gather together in this moment of prayer, we open our hearts to your divine presence, trusting that you are with us, guiding us, and protecting us through every step of our journey. Lord, as we reflect on your word, we are reminded of the powerful promises found in the Psalms, Psalm 23 and Psalm 91. These sacred scriptures are not just words on a page, but living and breathing promises of your protection, provision, and peace. Today, we hold tightly to these promises, knowing that they are as true for us now as they were when they were first written. Psalm 23 begins with the comforting declaration, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want father. We acknowledge you as our good shepherd, the one who leads us, provides for us, and protects us. Just as a shepherd tends to his flock, you tend to every detail of our lives, making sure we lack nothing. You lead us beside still waters, offering us rest for our souls, especially in moments when life feels overwhelming. You restore us when we are weary and provide peace when our hearts are troubled. Lord, you are the one who leads us in paths of righteousness, guiding us toward the right decisions, the right opportunities, and the right relationships. Even though we may walk through the valley of the shadow of death through trials, fears, and moments of deep uncertainty, we will fear no evil, for we know that you are with us. Your rod and your staff bring us comfort, assurance that you are protecting us from harm and guiding us safely through the darkest valleys. In Psalm 23, we are reminded of the abundant life you have for us. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. This image, Lord, of you preparing a table in the presence of our enemies shows us that you are our protector. Even when we are surrounded by challenges or adversities, you honor us with your favor and you fill our lives to overflowing with blessings, peace, and joy. We declare today that our cups are overflowing with your goodness and we thank you for the abundance you are bringing into our lives. Lord, your word tells us that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We hold on to this promise that your goodness and mercy are not just fleeting moments, but they will follow us, pursue us, and be with us every day of our lives. We take comfort in knowing that we are never alone, for your presence is with us, guiding us into your eternal house, where we will dwell with you forever. As we continue in prayer, we turn our hearts to Psalm 91, which speaks of your divine protection over our lives. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Father, we come to you today, seeking to dwell in that secret place under the covering of your mighty wings. We ask that you be our refuge, our fortress, and our shield against every attack, every danger, and every form of evil that may come against us. Psalm 91 reminds us that we can trust in you for protection, for you are our God, and we place our confidence in your ability to guard us from all harm. Your word says, surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Lord, we claim this promise today over our lives, our health, and our families. You are our deliverer, protecting us from every trap and from every illness that may seek to harm us. We take comfort in the promise that he shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge just as a bird shelters its young under its wings you cover us with your protection, keeping us safe from the storms of life. Your truth is our shield and buckler, guarding us from the lies and attacks of the enemy. We declare today that no weapon formed against you as shall prosper, for you are our defender and protector. Psalm 91 also tells us that we shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. 
Lord, in a world full of uncertainty and fear, we stand firm in your word, knowing that we have no reason to fear. No matter what threats may come our way, whether in the darkness of night or the light of day, we trust that you are our shield, guarding us from all harm. Though a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, your word assures us that it shall not come near us. Father, we declare that no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our homes, for you have given your angels charge over us, to keep us in all our ways. We thank you for the heavenly protection that surrounds us, for the angels that watch over us and guard us from harm. We trust in your promise that you will lift us up in times of danger, that you will protect our families, our health, our health, our homes, and our livelihoods. Lord, Psalm 91 also promises that because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high, because he has known my name today, we set our love upon you, Lord. We choose to trust in your name, knowing that you will deliver us from every trial, every obstacle, and every attack that comes our way. We call upon your name, and you promise to answer us, to be with us in times of trouble, and to honor us with your divine protection. As we come to the end of this prayer, we are reminded of your incredible love and faithfulness. We are reminded that you are our shepherd and our protector, that you lead us beside still waters and cover us with your wings. We thank you for the promises of Psalm 23 and Psalm 91, and we hold them close to our hearts as we trust in your protection, provision, and peace. Lord, we ask that you continue to watch over us, guide us, and bless us in every area of our lives, we ask for your healing touch upon those who are sick, your provision for those in need, and your peace for those who are anxious or troubled. We declare today that we are covered by your mighty hand, and we trust that you are leading us to green pastures and still waters, even in the midst of life's challenges. We give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise, knowing that you are with us always, now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Before we continue, I'd like to take a brief moment to remind you of the importance of supporting this video. If this prayer is touching your heart or bringing you peace, don't forget to leave a like. It helps us reach more people with messages of faith and hope. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so now and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily prayers. I also invite you to share the names of your loved ones in the comments so we can include them in our prayers and together create a strong circle of faith. Now, let's continue with our prayer and reflection. Heavenly Father, we come before you again with hearts full of faith and gratitude. As we continue in this moment of prayer, we declare your word over every area of our lives, trusting that you are our protector, our shepherd, and our deliverer. Lord, as Psalm 91 reminds us, you are our refuge and fortress. We trust in your promises that no harm will overtake us and no disaster will come near our homes. Father, send your angels to guard us in all our ways, to lift us up and shield us from every attack of the enemy. Just as you promised in this powerful psalm, we declare that you will rescue us from every trap and protect us from every sickness. Your faithfulness will be our shield and we will not fear the terrors of the night nor the arrows that fly by day. We find rest and security under your wings, knowing that your love for us is unfailing. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And Lord, we continue to meditate on Psalm 23, knowing that you are our shepherd who leads us beside still waters and restores our souls. Even when we walk through the darkest valleys, through trials and uncertainties, we will fear no evil because you are with us. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies, and our cups overflow with blessings. Father, we thank you for the abundance that you provide, for the peace that calms every storm, and for the hope that anchors our souls. We place every burden, every fear, and every worry in your hands today, knowing that you are in control. Lead us on paths of righteousness for your name's sake, and give us the strength to trust in your timing and your plans. Guide our decisions, protect our loved ones, and surround us with your favor. We know that goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in your presence forever. Lord, we also lift up those who are struggling today, those who are burdened by sickness, financial troubles, emotional pain, or broken relationships. We ask for your healing hand to touch every area of their lives. Let them experience your supernatural provision, your comfort, and your deliverance. Remind them that you are near, 
that you are their shepherd, and that with you by their side they lack nothing. You are our source of strength and hope, and we trust you to carry us through every trial. We rest in your promises, Lord, and we declare your goodness over our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Psalm 91 and Psalm 23 are true spiritual treasures that reveal God's care and protection in our lives. When we read these psalms, we are taken to a place of peace, trust, and security in the arms of the Father. They remind us that no matter what circumstances we face, there is a higher power that guards us, protects us, and guides us like a shepherd tending his sheep and a refuge that shelters us in life's storms. Protection under the wings of the Almighty. Psalm 91 is a hymn of protection and safety. It invites us to dwell in the secret place of the Most High, helping us understand that God is a safe haven where we can rest from anxieties and challenges. When we choose to be in God's presence, as the psalmist says, we live under the shadow of the Almighty. This doesn't mean we won't face difficulties, but it does mean we won't be alone in them. This psalm teaches us that when we trust in God, we are guarded in a special way. The image of God covering us with His wings is one of the most beautiful in the Bible, showing the tenderness of a loving Father who protects His children with care. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart, Psalm 91.4. This promise encourages us not to fear, for God's presence is constant, faithful, and covers us in every moment of distress. The Shepherd Who Guides Our Lives Psalm 23 on the other hand, presents God as the Good Shepherd. It is a declaration of total trust in the Lord, who guides us on safe paths, leads us to green pastures, and still waters. When the psalmist says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23, 1, he expresses a certainty in God, we find everything we need. He is the one who provides for our needs, calms our souls, and leads us to a place of peace. Even when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we need not fear any evil, because God is with us. His presence is the comfort we need in the darkest times. His rod guides us and corrects us, showing that He takes care of every detail of our lives. The table prepared before our enemies is a symbol of divine victory and provision, a reminder that God always honors us, even in difficult times. The blessings that follow us. Both Psalms 91 and 23 speak of a God who is intimately involved with our lives. The blessings we receive from God are not just material, but also spiritual and emotional. He gives us peace in the midst of chaos, strength when we feel weak, and hope when everything seems lost. God's blessings are like a balm that soothes the wounds of the soul and empowers us to keep moving forward. It is wonderful to know that the Lord's blessings are not confined to a specific moment, but follow us every day. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23, 6. This assurance that God's goodness follows us is a promise we can carry in our hearts, no matter what we are facing. The call to trust and surrender. Psalms 91 and 23 call us to full trust in God. They remind us that to experience these blessings, we must dwell in God's presence, seek refuge in Him, and recognize that He is our shepherd. It's not just about knowing that God exists, but trusting and resting in Him in every area of our lives. Trusting in God is an act of surrender. It's recognizing that even when we don't understand what is happening, He is in control. It's knowing that in every battle, whether spiritual, emotional, or physical, God is the one who fights for us. When we surrender to Him, we allow His blessings to flow freely in our lives, bringing healing, restoration, and peace. The power of prayer and God's Word. God's power manifests through prayer and His Word. When we declare the Psalms over our lives, we are proclaiming God's promises over us. It is an act of faith, a cry for protection, and a recognition that He is our fortress. Praying Psalms 91 and 23 is opening our hearts for God to enter and transform. It's inviting His divine presence to guide and protect us. The moment of prayer becomes an encounter with the Father, a time of healing and deliverance. By invoking God's name and declaring His word, we are also strengthening ourselves against adversities because we are placing our trust in the rock that is unshakable. Prayer is a powerful weapon, capable of breaking chains and tearing down barriers that often imprison us. Living under God's blessings. 
Living under God's blessings is an invitation to all who wish to experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. It's understanding that blessings are not limited to material wealth but are primarily manifested in peace of mind, joy amid trials, and the certainty that we are not alone. God's promises, expressed in Psalms 91 and 23, are a daily reminder that we are loved, cared for, and protected by a God who never fails. A journey of faith and divine assurance. Living under the promises of Psalm 91 and 23 is more than just a poetic expression of faith. It's a journey that requires trust, surrender, and a deep relationship with God. These Psalms aren't just ancient words, but living testimonies of how God interacts with his people. They show us that God's presence is not a distant concept, but a close and personal reality that shapes our everyday lives. Every day, as we walk this journey of faith, we encounter situations that test our strength, patience, and resolve. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the pressures of life, the uncertainties of the future, or the burdens that weigh heavy on our hearts. But the beauty of Psalms 91 and 23 is that they offer us a lifeline, a spiritual anchor that keeps us grounded. When we declare the Lord is my refuge and my fortress or the Lord is my shepherd, we are reminding ourselves that we are not defined by our challenges, but by the God who stands with us in the midst of them. God's presence in every season of life. God's blessings aren't confined to the good times, they extend to every season of our lives. Whether we are walking through the bright days of joy and success or trudging through the dark valleys of pain and uncertainty, His promises remain steadfast. Psalm 23 paints a vivid picture of this reality. God doesn't just lead us beside still waters, He also walks with us through the shadowy valleys. This assurance that God is with us in every high and every low reminds us that His blessings are not situational but constant. The Psalms teach us to see God's hand in every moment when He provides in abundance and when He sustains us in scarcity, when He shields us from visible dangers, and when He strengthens us to face invisible battles. They encourage us to embrace every season with faith, knowing that God's presence is our greatest blessing. An invitation to share God's blessings. As we experience the richness of God's blessings in our lives, we are also invited to share them with others. The comfort, peace, and protection we receive are not just for us, but are meant to be extended to those around us. When we share these psalms with family, friends, or even strangers, we are passing on the hope and security that only God can provide. By praying together, speaking these words over our lives, and encouraging others to do the same, we are creating a ripple effect of divine blessings that can touch countless hearts. Let the words of Psalms 91 and 23 be more than just recitations. Let them be declarations of faith, shields of protection, and fountains of hope in your daily walk with God. Trust in His promises, lean on His understanding, and rest in the assurance that no matter what comes your way, God's love and faithfulness will always be your greatest source of strength. Keep these Psalms close to your heart, live under their promises, and watch as God's blessings overflow in your life, bringing peace, joy, and divine favor. May these Psalms be a constant source of inspiration, comfort, and protection, and may you live each day under the rich blessings of the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, today we come before your presence to seek your peace, abundance, and prosperity in our lives. We know that everything we have in our comes from you, and without your love and protection, we cannot walk securely. Therefore, we seek your presence now, confident that you are our refuge and fortress. As it is written in Psalm 91, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty Father. Help us to dwell in your secret place, to remain in your presence every day, so that we may rest under your protection. In this world, we face many difficulties, emotional, financial, and spiritual problems, but your word assures us that a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Lord, we cry out for your divine protection, that no harm, sickness, or tribulation may come near us, and that we may remain steadfast in you, trusting in your power. May we believe that you send your angels to guard us in all our ways, and that we may be safe and protected by you in every step we take. Father, we know that Psalm 91 is a prayer of protection and refuge, but it also reminds us that we need to trust in you above all things. The psalmist declares that by dwelling in your secret place, you will be our shelter against life's storms. 
We want, Lord, to rest in you, trusting that, as you have promised, no evil will touch our lives. We ask, in Jesus' name, that you cover our homes, our families, and our finances with this powerful protection. May every attack from the enemy, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, be nullified in Jesus' name, and may we live under your guard, enjoying your peace amid difficulties. And as Psalm 23 reminds us, you are our shepherd and we shall not want. Father, we humbly ask you to lead us beside still waters and bring us to green pastures. May your Holy Spirit guide us in all the decisions we need to make and may your mighty hand grant us discernment and wisdom. In the midst of battles, fears and uncertainties, we need your guidance, Lord. We know that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you are with us, protecting and guiding us with your rod. Psalm 23 teaches us that even in adversity, we can trust that you are preparing a table before us in the presence of our enemies. This means that even in difficult times, you are blessing us, sustaining us, and preparing great things for us. We ask, Lord, that just as the psalmist says, our cup overflows that there be abundance in our lives. May we have not only enough, but an overflow of your blessings so that we may share with those around us. Heavenly Father, we cry out for your peace the peace that surpasses all understanding and guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We know that your peace is not dependent on our circumstances, but is a divine gift that fills us even amidst the storms. Therefore, Father, we declare peace in our families, peace in our relationships, peace in our hearts. May all restlessness, anxiety, and fear be replaced by trust in you, by resting in your promise that surely your goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Regarding prosperity, Lord, we ask you to teach us to prosper according to your will. May we see prosperity not only in material terms, but also in spiritual ones. May our hearts be rich in love, compassion, and gratitude. We ask for financial prosperity, but we also cry out for prosperity in wisdom, health, and relationships. Help us to be good stewards of all that you give us, using our blessings to glorify your name and help those around us. We know that true prosperity comes from you, and so we trust that you will open doors where we see no way out, that you will bring solutions where we only see problems. We know that you are our shepherd and we shall not want. We ask that you bless the work of our hands, bring opportunities and guide us to places of abundance. May we witness your goodness in our lives and may others see in us the reflection of your provision and peace. Today we surrender completely to you, Lord. We lay our lives, our families and our dreams at your feet. We believe that you are in control of all things and that nothing escapes your gaze. May we live each day trusting in your direction, knowing that you are our refuge and our fortress. May your peace, abundance, and prosperity be upon us today and always. Before we continue with this powerful prayer, I want to remind you of the importance of liking this video and subscribing to the channel. This helps us spread these messages of faith and hope to more people and your interaction is essential to strengthen this prayer community. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button now and activate notifications to receive our daily prayers. Don't forget to leave the names of your loved ones in the comments so that we can pray together for them. Now, let's return to our prayer, confident that God is already working in our lives. Lord, we continue in your presence, recognizing that walking without you would be empty and uncertain. Therefore, we ask that you continue to sustain us with your mighty hand. May each day be a reflection of your grace and mercy upon us. We know, Father, that many challenges will still arise, but we also have full conviction that you have already prepared our victory. May we not be shaken by life's difficulties, but rather, may we firmly plant our feet on the rock that is Christ. Father, we ask that you continue to pour out wisdom upon us so that we may make decisions with discernment and confidence. In every situation, whether great or small, May we hear your voice guiding and instructing us. May every plan of the enemy against us be thwarted, and may we be equipped with spiritual armor to overcome any battle that comes our way. And Lord, above all, we ask that your presence continue to be our greatest wealth. May we seek you tirelessly, not just for the blessings, but for the deep desire to be with you. May our hearts remain humble and grateful, recognizing that all that we are and have comes from you. Guide us, Lord, beside still waters and strengthen our faith so that, day by day, we may walk in confidence, peace, and abundance. We know that you are with us, and with that knowledge we can face any circumstance, certain that your goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now, to conclude the video, 
let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.